All right, once you spawn into the game, you should already see the graphics taking effect. Um, as you know, this is a graphics mod, so there's nothing that you need to press to activate it. As soon as you uh, turn on the game, you will see all the graphics right away, all right? So um, everything is looking good right now on my part. Um, I think this is a smooth graphic mod. It's very good with FPS, um, so you could say this is FPS friendly. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already go ahead and click that red button right there and also click that bell for notifications and select all all right yo yo escapes and graphics we are back in the building with another gta 5 mod tutorial for you and today we are going to be installing core fx graphics mod all right this one is created by core fx shout out to the creator when you get down to this patreon page because it's going to be on the creator's patreon page all right now in order to download this you do not need to be a patreon you can download this for free okay now in order to download the extras you will have to become a patreon in order to get the extras okay but for today only we will just be installing the core fx and core emb okay this will be uh version point 18 okay at this time that i'm recording all right so once you get to the patreon look in the recent post and you will see core fx and core emb now if you read the full description which i suggest read the full description when you get done reading the full description and you're ready to download this is where you're going to download it at they have provided two different ways you could download it you could download it through mega or download it through google drive okay now let's go ahead and jump into the requirements for the requirements we are going to need open four okay we will not be installing open four although i will leave a link in the description to a video showing you how to install open four if you don't have it already all right so once you have your requirements installed and you have your core fx and core emb downloaded on my left hand side i have one download which is core fx v18 single player okay that's what we are going to be installing it for for single player all right now on my right hand side i have my grand theft auto 5 directory opened up and ready to go before we go any further make sure that you have a mods folder okay if you don't have a mods folder go ahead and create a new folder and name it mods all in lowercase once that has been created go ahead and open up your open four all right now that we have our open four opened up before you go any further in open four make sure that you have your edit mode turned on it's this button at the top left of open four once you have your edit mode turned on let's go over to our downloads where we had our core fx folder and open it up Inside the core FX folder, you should see another folder that says single player. Open up that folder. Inside that single player folder, we are going to have three more folders and some uh, text documents right here. Okay, that will actually lead to um, website shortcuts. All right. Now, let's go ahead and start off with the first one. The first one is going to be core EMB, core EMB folder. All right. Let's open up the core EMB folder. Inside that folder is going to have all these files right here. Okay. Now let's go back and I'm just gonna minimize my open four. And then I'm gonna bring back up my GTA 5 directory. Okay, so I have my directory right here on the right hand side. What I'm gonna do is go back to the left hand side where we have our core EMB folder opened up. I'm going to highlight everything except this right here, which is the core EMB license. We're gonna deselect that and deselect, put all this in GTA 5 root folder, okay? So we're gonna have everything selected except these two that I just deselected, all right? Then we're gonna grab everything that we have selected and drag and drop it over here to our GTA 5 directory, all right? Drag and drop, already have it as you can see. Once that has been dragged and dropped, we are all good installing the EMB, okay? So let's go ahead and press the back arrow by pressing the back arrow, we'll lead us back here where we have three folders and three text document shortcuts. And we're gonna go to the next folder, which is core FX. Okay, we're gonna open up the core FX folder. Inside that folder, we are going to have two OIV packages, one for install and another one for uninstall. Okay, so let's open up the open four again. I have my open four opened up. 
and let's go ahead and select the core FX install. Okay, it's the OIV. We're gonna select that, drag and drop it over here to our open four. Once dragged and drop, a package installer window should open up. You wanna select install, then select mods folder, then select confirm installation. Once that is done, exit out of that package installer window. We can head back in the arrow right here in our downloads, press the back arrow. That's gonna lead us back where we have three folders and three text document shortcuts. The last folder is optionals, okay? Let's open up the optionals folder. Inside the optionals folder, we are going to have some options to install brighter emergency lights. You also have disable motion blur. Then you have emergency light fix. This is for the vanilla cars only, which means the game version cars. Then you have Enable Corona. Enable Corona will help make the lights brighter, like street lights and uh, business lights. The lights in general around the map will be brighter. Um, you have uh, your Ordinal, I think that says Ordinal 101 Error Fix. So just in case you installed this and you're getting a Ordinal 101 Error Fix, then you want to go ahead and install this, okay? Um, the next one down is Reshade CC Presets. Okay, so just in case you have reshade installed, then this will come with reshade presets for your reshade. All right, next one is street lights. Street lights, if uh, you look inside the street lights, it will have uh, coffee and it will have um, a fire, uh, not Firefox, it will have a shortcut also to uh, let you know the comparison of the coffee street lights. Okay, a lot of these um, optional add ons will have this inside. Let me blow this up. So just in case you weren't uh, familiar about the street lights and what it does, just go ahead and click on this. Once you click on that, it's going to bring up whatever web browser that you has as your main uh, default web browser. It's going to open that up and it's going to open it up with a picture. Now to see the comparisons, the first picture that opens up is going to be on default. If you click with the mouse on that picture, you will see it change okay so the first one's default and once you click it the second one will be the coffee lights okay you click it again it will go back to default you click it again it will go to the coffee lights so now you get to see the comparison between the default and whatever that you are interested in installing all right so that is a good thing that I like that the author has provided with um, the majority of all of these. And even in some of the folders, you could even see that shortcut inside the folder. OK, so the last but not least optional add on is going to be Sun Flare right there. I'm going to install the Enable Corona. All right. Enable Corona right here. And just so you can see what that does, we're going to go ahead and select that shortcut and this is going to bring up this picture of the default and if we click the picture with the mouse it's going to show us with the enabled corona now if you look at the headlights right here this is default and then this is enabled okay so you can see the headlights are a bit brighter around the headlight than versus in default okay so I'm going to go ahead and um, install this one, whichever optional that you pick, just go ahead and select it and drag and drop it over to open four. If you drag and drop it and you get this little red circle, just go ahead and take your mouse and select open four at the top of the program. Just select it and then go back, drag your OIV package over and you should be able to drag and drop it. After you drag and drop it, the package installer window will open up. Go ahead and select install mods folder install confirm installation once that's done installing go ahead and exit out of that package installer window we are all done installing everything uh, that we need for the main graphic mod to work we have the main graphic mod as well as the emb settings installed so we can go ahead and minimize any other windows that we might have open and run the game all right once you spawn into the game you should already see the graphics taking effect um, as you know, this is a graphics mod, so there's nothing that you need to press to activate it. As soon as you uh, turn on the game, you will see all the graphics right away, all right? So um, everything is looking good right now on my part. Um, I think this is a smooth graphic mod. It's very good with FPS, um, so you could say this is FPS friendly. Um, very easy to install as well. Um, there is also some optionals, like I mentioned earlier, but... Um, 
there are some paid optionals as well on the patreon that uh, you have to become a patreon a paid member of patreon in order to install those other optionals okay but um as of this for right now this is good just like it is right here yo i like it i like it all right so let's check out those cars at nighttime also like the lights because i installed um the enabled uh corona i believe all right so let's go ahead jump in the car real quick all right they don't mind if i borrow this car right here all right i'm gonna use the trainer to uh make it nighttime there you go so yep my lights are definitely brighter than it was before i should have did a comparison video earlier but i forgot <laughs> So, um, yep, this is the Corona lights right here. Plus, you can see it from the street lights also. Pretty much all the lights that are in the game, you're going to see uh, be more brighter than it was before with that specific optional that I installed, all right? So, we're going to go ahead and... Uh in the video right here but if uh, this helped y'all out to install it or if you just enjoyed the video feel free to smash that like button for me definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already e and share the video with y'all friends that are in the modding gta 5 y'all's games and graphics me and big bowling ass frank we out of here till next time yo I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.